Pula. Hello everyone, bonjour. So we're having a date night in downtown LA. And as you can see, this is the Walt Disney Concert Hall. And we're going there for a show tonight. Features Terrence Blanchard. Yes. So he is a very famous musician. He composed and played a lot of music for Spike Lee's movies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're super excited. We're always into the jazz music and the trumpet and all these like uh, stuff. So big trumpet fan. <laughs> big trumpet fan. Um, but. Joke aside, we we're really excited to come out to see another wonderful show because it's always a good time in Walt Disney Concert Hall. The, the architecture itself is stunning. It's iconic of LA, but also the in, inside of the concert hall is always amazing. And last year, we, we came here for Jose Gonzalez's show, and that was amazing. By the way, he's one of my favorite musicians as well. So we are looking forward to see our very first like jazzy show in Walt Disney Concert Hall. So a little tip that if you arrived at 4.30 p.m. on weekends before our show starts, that you can park in the underneath the garage of Concert Hall for $10 flat rate. So we, we want to take advantage of that, park underneath the, the, the garage, and then we take a little tour mm -hmm. <laughs> in downtown LA. If you have seen La La Land, you definitely will remember that very interesting, like a little train, like a very quirky little ride. The angels fly. They take um, $1 per ride. Choo choo choo. <laughs> it is the shortest ride either in America or in the world because literally is picking you from one street to the next. The only reason it existed is because the elevation of these two streets are too significant to walk. It's very quick. Blink of eyes. It's not the smoothest ride, is it? <laughs> So we we're trying to find a coffee shop and most of the coffee shops are already closed at five o'clock. Uh, so we're looking for those uh, a bit staying late kind of coffee shop. And we found this white and cut tilled coffee. And it apparently looks like within a residential complex. So mm -hmm. let's find out if it's good. Oh. Hi. This drink and your drink, they're basically the same except for one being um, cold, one being hot. And mine, our drinks are called Chagachino. It's basically a double shot espresso, of course, mm -hmm. uh, with mushroom powder. So, Chagachino. Ooh, it's actually really good. I would call myself a home barista, but usually in the morning you just want to get going. Like, of course you want to make sure your, your shots are pulled well and your latte is, like, the milk is frosted well. But also, like, you don't have much time to, like, really experiment different flavor, play, like, profile. But th these are coffee that giving you ideas. To life. life. Always super excited to see green roof. They help the roof to, to last longer. When you have a green roof, it kind of prevents the UV light to, to penetrate and disintegrate the roof um, top layer. They really help to, to cool the building down in summertime, but also warm the building in wintertime. When you have a long day of like sunlight and with a lot of heat, that actually regulate inside of the building. So I can make assumption that you don't have to turn on AC as cool as you have to with that kind of roof, which mm. is really nice because this little standalone structure is literally in the middle of the courtyard and it could absorb a lot of sunlight. So having this kind of can cool it down a little bit. Maybe we should come back here next time we're in downtown. Yeah. And it's fairly close to like Grand Central. Mm. I like this.
Yeah, we, we are really loving this bookstore. As you can see, the decors and the interior is extremely interesting. And then they do sell books that are both new and used. Mm -hmm. And then you just like need to see the, the price on them. If it's used and it's usually at a reduced price, which is a really good way to pass on a book that you have already read, enjoyed or not. Then you sell it here and then somebody else can pick it up. Yeah. Did you find everything from the bookstore? Uh, not quite. There was a lot of books I was looking for. Um, a lot of them just weren't there, either that or I just simply didn't see them because the place is giant. But I got one book. Uh, it's called City. It's a classic Hugo Award-winning uh, sci-fi novel. Seems like a really small, quick read, so... Yeah, I got that used for like $4. Why not just check it out? I read the back of the book. It sounds like the world is taken over by ants, ruled by dogs. Yeah. Is that what it is? I, I don't know. We'll see. There's a <laughs> vlog that I watched where this guy, he talks about sci-fi novels and he ranked the top 10 sci-fi novels that I think that you've never heard of or something like that. And uh, this one was one of them. And just from his description, it sounded very, very bizarre. Yeah, and how much does that book cost you? Oh, it was only $4 used, so you can't really beat that. Um, I, I hope all the pages are there. Uh, I'll find out whenever I read it, but um, yeah, I'm excited to, to try out something new to me. So what are we going to next? So we're going to go grab a taco before we head out to the Walt Disney Concert Hall for our show tonight. Mm -hmm. And when I say a taco, that's all you need because a taco is so huge. It's almost yeah. like a burrito. I don't even know if I can finish it, but that's where we're gonna go. We're, it's basically right over yeah, here. Yeah, we're almost there. So it's really close together that we stopped by a coffee, went to a bookstore, and now we grab a dinner at Grand Central, and then we walk back to the concert hall. And all yep. together is like 10, 10, 15 minutes walk. Mm -hmm. And because everybody always says like, Boston is so spread out, like we have to have a car. Most part it is, but if you plan ahead and take advantage of the public transportation, then you can definitely have an enjoyable time without driving too much. That's a really big papaya. All right, we went to our favorite taco place in LA. Uh, here in Grand Central Market. Yeah, the great thing about here is tacos are only $5 and one taco is all you need. This is a ridiculous size for a taco, um, which is great. What did we, uh, we got the same thing, what did we get? We got bushi, basically it's a pig stomach and I don't know about in America, but it's something that we always eat in China. Mm -hmm. Obviously, very widely eaten in Mexico as well. So I always find it's tasting like home. So I like it. Yeah, it's one of the uh, many, many countries that utilizes all the animal, which uh, unfortunately doesn't happen that often in the United States, in the mainstream restaurants. That's their problem and our game. So let's dig in. We only have 10 minutes before the show starts, so Jai, you gotta hurry up. Oh yeah, we're almost there. We're like a block away. Yeah, we're gonna see Terrence Blanchard, who is Spike Lee's uh, composer, who's I think been nominated for two Oscars. Mm -hmm. um, he's gonna be performing music from Spike Lee's films. Yeah, I'm so, looking yeah. forward to it. What Spike Lee films have you seen? Black Clansman? Mm-hmm. That one is really good. Yeah. I love it. I think some of the older movies I haven't seen yet, but mm -hmm. I do want to watch that. Yeah. But I do remember last year I watched a Spike Leaks commercial for Nike's um, 50 years of anniversary. But that was a brilliant one as well. So. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I've seen Black Klansman, The Five Bloods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, uh, of course, I saw uh, Do the Right Thing, which is great. Malcolm X, which I think is a masterpiece. 25th Hour, uh, He Got Game, which is great. Oh, yeah, American Utopia. I mean, I think it's just him trying to do his own version of Stop Making Sense, but uh, man, still really, really great. Unfortunately, they won't let us take video inside. I mean, it's understandable. Yeah, we'll let you know how we like it or not. We'll, we'll get you some review. Goosebumps, like I feel something's happening in my brain. It just like hit so differently. Mm -hmm. I think there's something about live music, especially the kind of music that you love. And especially like this is even more because we have seen some of the, the movies and remember those like very moment when those music started and then you feel all the emotions and that's how oh i just the speaking about that gives me like goosebumps and like feeling oh gosh and even more fun is when they said the show is over and people start to leave and then the musicians start improv mm -hmm. that was so amazing they doing it for fun mm -hmm. and that's so lovely to see i think it's just purely magic to me what do you think uh yeah it was beautiful um it makes me immediately want to start binging on spike lee films i really want to rewatch malcolm x because it's been like yeah 15 i want years. to watch that movie yeah. and i also want to watch jungle fever only mm -hmm. because that movie has some of the most beautiful songs ever like those two yes. singers they are the best vocalists i've ever heard of like it's just so beautiful like i started to cry because their voice is just too beautiful angelic yeah and then it all came from the movie jungle fever and i didn't even know this movie at all mm -hmm. so i'm gonna watch that i'm really really grateful that uh she's able to find this and that we were able to go and then also, like, any time we have a chance to go downtown, have some of those amazing tacos at Grand Central Market, we even was able to stop by the, the last bookstore. And we discovered a great little coffee shop downtown. We can go to Museums Broad and Contemporary Art Museum. And also, like, you can go to Symphony. And 100%, you can afford it because the show that we went to today, it's $30 per person to sit at the back of the orchestra. It's not the best seat in the entire room, but you're not gonna regret it because it's just a, such a great experience always to listen to the best musician to play live music. You're not gonna get like the greatest view in the world, but you're gonna hear some of the best acoustics in the world. Exactly. All right, well, that's it. We're about to hit home and uh, we will see you and have a wonderful night, everyone. Bye. Later. Thank <laughs> you.